This time we have just left the culture center and the school. So we are children like other children. So. You're gonna see different uh, school children. Uh, this is a big, big community. And this driving through the country, we're actually up in elevation. So we will be descending and heading back to the hotel. You know, the money attracts everybody. Yes, yes. That's all the one hour This time it is a rough road. road. So guys, thank you so much for your time with us. Thank you. 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 That's the way back home. Yeah. We'll drop him here. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, so goodbye. For, for those guys who want coffee, I'll drop some at your hotel. Okay. Tomorrow. Right, uh, bring, bring, okay. extra, bring extra if somebody changed their mind and want more. Sure, sure. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank yes, you. my brother. Good meeting you. Yes, sir. We'll keep in touch. See you next yes. year. Yes, yes. Let's do it again. Yes, yes. Oh. Are you guys saying Ashe too? Asante is uh, I, I use so many words. Ashe is a Maasai word for saying thank you. Nas, Nas, N A S W A. Nas is my mother tongue. Thank you. Some days I will have my property named Nas. Larry, today. Nas, N A A S. N A. S double A. So we're heading down, we're heading to the pave uh, tarmac road. It will take a few minutes. We cannot really cruise here because of the road condition. Uh, once we hit the pave road, it will take a few minutes. We are at the hotel. There you can. Uh, take your time, go for swimming. You want to run within the area, you want to run downhill, uphill. <laughs> it's your choice. Like that nice hotel yes. as we come out of 
all the hotels are nice. Okay, the one with the red bricks on the left hand side as we're coming out. Mm -hmm. If you run from your hotel downhill to the junction and then up to that hotel and back, you have got 1.5 kilometers. So if you do that, then by seven you are ready to come with us for dinner. We go today to a nice Ethiopian restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to connect Africa. We want to tell Africans we can. That's right. The whole country. No matter what, we can. So we go to the Ethiopian restaurant for dinner. And uh, that is, uh, that is the, to the point we have limit. We have power to tell you what to do. After dinner, <laughs> when we get back to the hotel, it's out of our hands. You decide if you sleep, if you want to listen music, if you want to, it's you. And then tomorrow morning, uh, the departure is uh, 12 to the airport. So from after breakfast until 12, you have time. You can do packing and everything. But I have seen, I haven't mentioned it, I have seen you have purchased a lot of things. So you don't need to go for shopping anymore. <laughs> so you can do your packing, you can chill out and then 12, quarter to 12 we'll start loading the luggage and the bag, and the, the carry-on and everything, uh, I mean not carry-on but your safari bags we put on proof and then we'll be ready by 12 o'clock to leave the hotel and drive to the airport. Yes. So before that if you want to buy something just to please your stomach, you can order it at the hotel and do your snack, lunch, and then we'll read. Okay? Sour, sour? Perfect, that, yeah. that is a perfect game plan. That'll work. That's what we got planned out. Okay. Um, going to Dar es Salaam, there's a change of altitude and temperature. Mm -hmm. We are here 1,630 meters above sea level. We're going down to sea level. It's going to be hot. You don't need to put a heavy dress. Okay. Put easy one, light one. When we get in Dar es Salaam, we drive uh, from the airport to the hotel. Protea will be there, I'm sure. If there's no any delay, we'll be there in time for dinner. And perfect, and I got, uh, I got I got some people waiting to meet us in Dar es Salaam for dinner. Uh, that once we get there, Africans, we're all Africans. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked because he's bringing in Japanese, so that's why I was shocked. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's some of them are from the, the uh, diaspora, America, Jamaica, different places. Oh, I would love to meet those people. You know what I was telling you. Know me, I'm, I'm big I, I, was telling, I was telling my history with the Jamaican boy to Omani this afternoon when he was busy with the coffee. In uh, 2002, I was to, res to meet my friend from the village who's coming in town to visit me. In those days, in 90s and early 2000, moving from my village to town, it's a little bit a bit of story that somebody quit the village and go and live in town because people wanted to live in villages. So he came to Arusha and I went to pick him at the bus stand, bus station. So as we was discussing how is back home, how is the village, before we catch the taxi and go home, I saw a, a, an African person just stranded, standing at the bus stop. And then I walked to him and I said, Kiswahili, do you need any help? And he looked at me for a second and said, do you speak English? I said, yes, I do speak. So we start talking about life and everything. And he moved uh, into Tanzania because he wanted to, to put a, a company do the fabric printing. By his research, he just found that in Tanzania there's not many, which is true. And uh, I asked him, how long does it take the investment? He said, I don't know, but I'll find a, 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 a cheap hotel or place to stay for a while. Then I will, I, will, I will start my business. And I said, oh, no way. You don't need to spend your money to go to live in a hotel because I'm here. Why should you not come with me? We go and stay. And he just accepted. 
we catch the back taxi, three of us. Yes. We went to my place. I was renting one room. So three of us. We prepared dinner. Uh, dinner. Luckily, he was easy person. He can eat ugali. You know ugali. You said this yes. Some of you did like yes. Uh, yeah, ugali with yeah. beans, ugali with beef stew. So we used to like eat together and enjoy. Good, very good person. Now he's back to Jamaica. Then he stayed, he lived with me for three months. After three months, he found a place to put his machine and then started his life and said, brother, I need to go somewhere and live and do my things. I said, okay. And he becomes a very, very good friend. Very good friend, like that biological brothers because everything he's doing, he will always inform me. And when I'm doing things, I will inform him very close. What I mean is, for us, as Africans, if you talk to the world, our value is close to nothing. I'm sorry for my my language. I'm just being just 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 like when 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 a certain discussion is going on. Uh, we don't have, as Africans, we don't have much of, con of contribution. We are not, as now the pandemic is going on, there is no African country going to decide if the vaccine is available or if it's good or not. They will decide for us. They will tell us that this is the vaccine. And don't know. you don't ask. You have no room to say it's not the vaccine. Mm -hmm. That's just one example. So for us as Africans, I will repeat again what I said earlier. We need to hook up the chain. We need to, like, this is my hand. Yes. You put your hand here and yes. give to somebody and to somebody yes. because we can. Sawa. Sawa, sawa? Sawa, sawa? Sawa, sawa. Sawa is okay. Sawa, sawa is very okay. Okay. <laughs>